Hello and welcome to Building Symphony application series. In the last episode, we improved our terminal with uh, aliases and uh, making command search uh, smarter. In this episode, uh, we will be making changes to use uh, UIDs uh, for our entity IDs. So if you want to learn why, why auto incrementing the IDs isn't very good, you can read an article by Phil Sturgeon. Uh, so mostly it's actually just uh, uh, the biggest problem is uh, leaking your data. So if you have auto incrementing IDs, you can just uh, make a scraper which goes through all of them and you can uh, find uh, everything you might need to know or how many data there might be and uh, if your project is really big uh, and you like have to create a lot of data this can also be bad because uh, you have to contact like your database or some other service to find uh, the next ID rather than just uh, generating one which is uh, pretty unique and collisions are, are like a, a very small chance of, chance of having collisions. Uh, so of course there are a lot of uh, alternatives to it but we will be using uh, universal unique IDs. And uh, yeah, let's start trying to do so the first change we actually need to do is uh, change the column type of uh, our user ID. As you can see, change the type of it and uh, change the strategy for generating that follower. So if you check where doctrine documentation and mapping and okay yeah we have identifiers so let's see, see, see. Uh, okay yeah we have a generator strategy or id and uh, we also need okay the types we also need uh, GoID type which which will uh, use the specific type uh, depending on our database for for our entity uh, so let's first run our tests to make sure everything still works Okay, everything is fine. Let's make these changes. Strategy UUID and type GoID. So, first we need to, to drop our schema, trim schema. Up, I think. Yeah, that's fine. I would guess it didn't execute. So let's just force it just to be safe. Yeah. And uh, we need to create our database again and let's see if we check the structure we can reach out for the ID and let's run 
the tests again. It actually works. Yeah, that looks fine. So let's say I try to create a user. password same um, let's see yeah that actually works it was much easier than I expected um, so yeah we could also like uh, add a value object for UUID but um, I I think we will leave it like this until something breaks and we need to really fix it. We'll see how, how, how far we can just go simply with just a simple change. Uh, of course, the pro of using a UUID value object would be what uh, you always know what uh, uh, correct ID is passed so you don't need to check uh, like what it is really a UUID value so but for now yeah let's leave it like this actually so um, I guess uh, I will see you in the next episode and like the video and subscribe to the channel